Hey everyone, so let's get straight into this question. So the question says, find the product of three and a half and one and three quarter. Find the product of three and a half and one and three quarter. So I always tell my students, you need to change the English language into mathematical language. Change the English language into mathematical language. So I've prepared a couple of things here for this question. Things you need to know would include the following things to know for this question. So the product is the name of the number that you get by multiplying two or more numbers together. So that question asks for the product. So you're going to need to multiply those numbers, those fractions. Okay. I also added other terms. Okay, then you can pause the video to look at those terms. So those terms would be the sum. What does the sum mean in mathematics? What does the difference mean in mathematics? And what does the quotient mean in mathematics? So you can pause the video here to have a look at that and write the notes. But thanks to know for this question, you need to know what the product means. And that means, again, the name of the number that you get by multiplying two or more numbers together. In this case, it's going to be fractions together, okay? Also, you need to know what is a proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is smaller than its denominator, okay? A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is smaller than its denominator. So we have one quarter here, and one is the numerator above, and four is the denominator. Okay, so that's pretty easy. That's a proper fraction. You also need to know what is an improper fraction. An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is equal to or greater than its denominator. An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is equal to or greater than its denominator. So we have seven over four. And 7 is the numerator, and 4 is the denominator, and we all know that 7 is greater than 4. So that is an improper fraction. And this question, you would also need to know what is a mixed number, because you're going to be using it. A mixed number is a number made of a whole number and a proper fraction. A mixed number is a number made of a whole number and a proper fraction. So in this here, three and a half, three is a whole number. It's the big number, okay? In a mixed number, the whole number would be the big number. So here in green, three is the whole number. And a half, a half is a proper fraction, okay? So one is the numerator and two is the denominator. Together, they make a proper fraction, one half. So this is your mixed number, guys. So you can pause the video to get these notes here. I try to make this video as fast as possible so you can just go through these questions very quickly. So let's solve. Okay, so the question says, find the product of three and a half and one and three quarter. So let me just write it in there. Let's go with red, right? So we have three and a half. You know this is a mixed number, right? Multiply because I said find the product of one and three quarter. Awesome. So we're gonna do we're gonna change three and a half into an improper fraction. Now, how do we do that? Okay, how do we do that? Well, it's very easy. You take the three, multiply it by the two, and you're gonna add the one. Let me say that again. Okay, to change this mixed number to an improper fraction, you're going to multiply the whole number, 3, by the denominator, that would be 2. So it's going to be, it's going to be 3 multiplied by 2, right? That's going to give me 6. And then I'm going to add the 1 above here. So it's going to be 6 plus 1. And finally, that's going to give me 7. Okay, I'm taking the 7 and putting it over 2. Why 2? 
because 2 was my denominator in the first place. So you can rewind this and get that again. If you didn't really catch that, I'll do it again this time for the 1 and 3 quarter. For 1 and 3 quarter, I'm going to change 1 and 3 quarter as a mixed number into an improper fraction. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by the, multiplied by the 4. Right? 1 multiplied by the 4. Number multiplied by the denominator, and I'm going to add the numerator, so it's going to be 1 multiplied by 4 will give me 4. And then when I get that answer, now I'm going to add the numerator, it's going to be 4 plus 3, and that is also going to give me 7. And when I get 7, I'm going to put this over 4 because 4 was the denominator in the first place. Right? So now I have 7 over 2 and 7 over 4. What do I do now? Well, the question said find the product. Okay, find the product. So I'm going to multiply. So this kind of comes straight down here. Right? Okay? So it's going to be multiply. So now my question becomes this. Sorry. The question now becomes this, okay? And we go forward now, we simply multiply the numerators, okay? We simply multiply the numerators. So 7 multiplied by 7 would be 49. You know, it's 7 times tables, right? Okay? And 2 multiplied by 4 would give you 8. And what do we call this now? What do you call this? This is, sorry, this is an improper fraction. This is an improper fraction because the, um, the numerator is greater than the denominator. So let's change this into a mixed number. Let's go. Well, I have 49 above and 8 down here. So what I'm going to do, I need to know my 8 times tables. How many times can 8 go into 49? 1 8 is 8, 2 8 is 16, 3 8 is 24, 4 8 is 32, 5 8 is 40, and 6 8 is 48. So 8 could go into 48 6 times. And I'm going to get a remainder of 1. That would make it 49. So 8 into 49, 6 times remainder 1. And I put that remainder 1 over 8 because, as you know, 8 was the denominator here. So my final answer is going to be 6 and 1, 8. So looking at the big picture here, looking at the big picture here, right? The question was find the product of 3 and a half, 1 and 3 quarter, and my answer. So I hope this was very helpful to you okay god bless uh have a lovely day